Light is fading, but I'm here and I've got a 16 by 20 inch canvas. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio Gallery. And I want to put some colors on the canvas just because I have them. And maybe tomorrow, if I decide I want to, I will also add some dribbles, but I don't know. It depends on how this turns out. And I'm going to do one section at a time. This is Frostbite. I'm a Color Art affiliate. There's a 20% off Color Art coupon code somewhere and I'm using the frostbite as a light a light base because every other darker color that I add to it will just change it up to something much brighter. I'm going to throw a little bit of Chantilly lace in there and I'm going to use my spatula to smear things together so it does not really matter. This is Red Violet, which is a vivid, intense fluorescent, and it has some golden diamonds in it, which is a primary element. I've got some Egyptian Blue, which is a prism pour. I will list the colors underneath the video. And I'm probably going to slip in and use some of this jasmine. That has some dancing fuchsia in it, which is a new purely pigment color. I have a color I mixed, which is turquoise, that had was made with purely pigments, but I did not keep the recipe. So I'm sorry, but I can't tell you what that is. I think it's going to go well with a little parrot wing, which is a prism pour. Which I need to open all the way up to get it all the way out. And I've got damp paper towels ready and a spatula. I want to put some more colors in there. Can't help myself. Color junkie. That is saffron. Come on, off, drip. And maybe some gold. I've got plenty of Indian Spice Gold mixed up. Sort of looking to make some new shapes, but mostly it's about combining colors and then seeing how they look together. I don't want to waste that. I'm not sure what to do with it. Maybe we'll put it right there for now. And use the clean side. to melt it in. And while the paint is wet, I can decide to add pretty much any color I want without cat hairs, please. I did vacuum my studio for a student I had recently, but I'm still finding cat hairs. I don't know why. I want some deep amethyst. No matter where I stop, it's not going to make any difference because I can always go on. Yes, that's exactly what I wanted. And I think I'm going to take these colors 
this time. I don't usually try and go over the edge. But this time I'm going to go over the edge. And I'm going to learn to live with my little rough spots. Although that looks extremely useful. I'm hoping that I'm all in camera. So I need to scrape dish is basically the bottom line to this. And to wipe off my spatula in between. So I don't mix my colors up if I don't want to. I like to mix my colors up, but there's a time for it and another time for it not to be appropriate. So I have some sour lemon with orange crush in it from a while back. I'm hoping it'll come out without the marble. wanted to use it up. It's got some vivid enamel in it. It makes good blooms. And somewhere here, I've been called to get rid of that bubble or whatever it is. Maybe I have tweezers. I had tweezers. I swear I had tweezers. Well, I've got some horrible tweezers that are better than no tweezers. But I lost where I was working. Okay, never mind. So this is Miami Magenta. As soon as I get the little tab off the top, it'll come out just fine. And then I'm going to add some Orange Crush. Oh, I am if I can. There are my tweezers. Duh. Hiding in the... on the silicone mat. It's camouflaged full of paint. Oh, whatever was in there is still in there. Come on out. I was keeping my paint from coming out. I don't see anything. We'll take a chance. I'm going to grab some shiny taffeta. And I think I've got some French silk. Yes. Question is, is it open? And it seems like it's going to work. That Miami Magenta is making me want some pink carnation. And the, sh the um, French silk is not cooperating. I'd like it to though. <laughs> What's it feel like to want? So I think I'll just do what I did before because the Indian spice is plentiful and grab that pink carnation I'm talking about. Give it a little bit of a shake first. in my fingers. Hope my spatula isn't got any dried paint on it or in, if it does it's time to grab something new. I'm just gonna steal some paint. I put it on the other side of the blade. I can still use the other side of the blade.
I want even more. And maybe I should put something in with it, like I've got frosted berry and it's available. Another prison pour. I want some more saffron right here. Sometimes I just like the look of things as I, as I go along. That is one of those times. So I think I'm going to put some more. What am I got more of? I'm in magenta. This time I'm going to not try and open the sour lemon. I'm just going to use some Tuscan Sun. I want something much more red, so maybe a little more saffron. And why not bring the jasmine in with the dancing fuchsia in it? That's a bubble. Pop. Sometimes the, the color of the residuals scraped off is pretty darn cool. And sometimes I just like a really simple composition. And I've got really nice paint on my blade of my spatula and I'm trying to figure out what to do with it quick. <laughs> and I've got clean Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. And I'm going to do something I haven't done before. And just use the paint. Because it's pretty. Just scraping along the blade. I might want to still join up. I know if I leave the blue next to the black without anything in between, it won't show. That's pretty cool. I think I'm going to do it again over here. I'm not sure that was a good idea, but we're going to go with it anyway. I've got one more. Come on. One more residual. That's kind of neat. I want to put some gold dots in there and call it good. And just, uh, just because I can. All right, so this Indian spice will dry more shimmery and golden than it looks now. I'm gonna take my time. I don't want any drops like that. Although I did Maneuver that just in time to where I actually didn't wind it. Come on. Not so sure about that one. I think I might want to blow that shape into a more circular area. Sometimes simpler is just the way to go. Throw 
trying hard not to have little, I call them mouse tails. All right, so I survived that, and that was fun. And now I'm going to take my straw and hopefully I don't have any spit in it. Something about that shape was bothering me. And now it's not so much. Although I kind of want to do something weird. Put a little bit of pink on my... Spatula. And if I'm going to be weird, I might as well be as weird as I want to be. So I'm going to put little bit of orange. Am I? Come on. <laughs> well, I certainly was. Where's my skewer? Now a lot of times when I've been doing these, well, I haven't been doing anything a lot of times, but I've been doing a few of these. And I think I'm going to take the deep amethyst. Put it right around the outside edge. Come on, stop dribbling. Thank you, just in time. All right, I got a couple minutes left. We'll give me one. We'll try and shimmer this at you. Love, love, love these colors. Is that a bubble or a thing? Because, oh, I think it was a thing. Anyway, so check that out. That's pretty weird and pretty cool. And I like it. If I need anything like a little more sour lemon, I'll just put it right there because it looks like it needs it. Actually, I've got it right there. Pretty neat. Not sure which way is up yet. And uh, I'm kind of inclined since I know the paint is heavy to, to do things I shouldn't do. No, I'm going to leave it alone. I've got a little tiny bit of paint left in my dish which I'm kind of inclined right now to take. And put right there. All right. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Please give me a thumbs up. And re remember that um, watching the video longer is the only thing that the YouTube algorithm responds to. And I need some help keeping my channel alive. Thank you, members. For keeping my channel alive. Thank you for those of you who have joined pa Patreon and those of you who donate through PayPal. I love you all. Thank you so much for keeping me here. I love painting and uh, it, used to, it used to be a job and now it's, <laughs> now it's a hobby. But uh, if you buy an artwork, it helps me out immensely. So if you'd like to contact me, my email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. And I give classes at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, one-on-one -on -one privately. My community board will show you tomorrow's video. I have 32 playlists with 100 videos each on them. Questions are welcome and encouraged. My link tree has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. My Facebook is Priscilla Batsells dash artist. Um, I think I've told you almost everything except for everything is available added to the merchandise at um, Society6, Le Gallerist, um, <laughs> Pixels.com, Fire Net America, and Spring is under the video. So whatever I've missed, you'll see in another video. And I love you guys.